We see uh, the results of trauma all around us every day. It's in the newspaper, it's on the radio. More than 11 million times last year, American children were rushed to emergency departments and trauma centers. That's because injury, not disease, is the biggest threat to the health and future of our children. People don't really realize, I don't think, the magnitude of the problem. Injury is the number one killer of children. Dr. Gary Smith of Columbus Children's Hospital Center for Injury Research and Policy is a passionate advocate for safety and injury prevention. The fact is that we live in a world that was designed by adults largely for the convenience of adults. And unfortunately, children's safety is often an afterthought. As a young pediatrician specializing in emergency medicine and public health, Dr. Smith became aware of trends in certain types of injuries. He believed research and product design could work like a vaccine for injury. His findings drew national attention. Despite publicity about the potential dangers, parents continue to use them, according to a new study in the American Academy of Pediatrics Journal. Dr. Gary Smith is the lead author of the study. Dr. Smith? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Nice Thank to you. see you again. This potential danger is very real. 17,000 children are injured each year in school buses. That's three times the previous government estimate. Dr. Gary Smith co-authored the study. They can have a very serious head injury. Doctor, thanks for joining us today. So this is a new study. It profiles children most, uh, it says the children are most at risk for injuries. In the last three years, 2,000 children were hospitalized from shopping cart injuries, such as skull fractures, concussions, cuts, and bruises. Dr. Gary Smith is director of emergency medicine at Children's Hospital. And you found that 25,000 kids are injured. That's right, and, and are treated in emergency departments every year in this country. One of the things that we do in research is we, we really try to get a handle on how often something occurs, that's the incidence of the problem, as well as the severity. And if you take something like baby walker-related injuries, there's probably not a pediatrician out there who couldn't tell you how big a problem this was 10, 20 years ago. And what I like to point out is it's because we used the tried and true public health strategy of focusing on the cause rather than blaming parents or telling parents to simply be careful. What we actually did is we designed the problem out of existence by making the walker less prone to go downstairs. To understand Dr. Smith's drive, you have to go back to his younger years. As a little boy in Southern California, he was the oldest boy of four very active children. His father was a dentist, his mother a nurse, so medicine was in the family. Perhaps that love of science is what fostered his curiosity. To me, it was just phenomenal uh, how the body worked. And I found that just fascinating. So everything from biochemistry to physiology, you name it, it was just always something new and exciting and unbelievable. To me, it's like science fiction. I mean, how does the body know how to do that? Dr. Smith's inquisitive nature and expertise is the foundation for a center that is growing an international reputation for innovation and collaboration. When it comes to studying injuries related to consumer products and motor vehicles, as well as striving to better understand the biomechanics of pediatric injury. We want our Center for Injury Research and Policy here at Children's Hospital to be looked at as the premier center in the world. And sometimes I joke and I talk about the galaxy. Uh, because we think that we have the talent, we have the tools, we have the understanding to make a difference for not only our, our local Central Ohio area, not only our state, our country, but even internationally. The work is so significant, Dr. Smith has garnered the support of the Nationwide Foundation and the Diamond R. McPherson Endowed Chair in Injury Research. Nationwide and Children's Hospital and our Center for Injury Research and Policy, I think, all come together when we think about protecting families. Nationwide talks about families in crisis. That's what we're about. We talk about um, life comes at you fast. And boy does it when you talk about injuries. And we talk about nationwide being on your side. This is their way of saying how they reach out to the community, how they want to help the community, help children. And that's exactly our mission here at Children's Hospital in our center. Shared goals with a focus firmly centered on children. Something Dr. Smith reflects on as he and his wife parent their two children. You get a better handle on development, how kids think. Um, and it's not quite the same having patience uh, having your own children is, is I think, an eye-opener. You see things through their eyes, and, and it does contribute to how you approach your work. I think I've turned them into safety converts because they're very quick to point out if someone doesn't have a seatbelt on or wearing a helmet when they're on their bike. I went into medicine to, to help others to make a difference, 
I tell my children, the most important thing you can do with your life is to help other people and to make this a better world. I get up every day, I come into one of the best children's hospitals in the country, the world. I work with a group of talented, energetic people who are every day working to make this a better place for children. Who could have a better job?